G'day guys, tonight I'm continuing my quest to get my first Murray Cod off the surface. I've come to Old Reliable, I am below the weir yet again. I keep going to different spots but uh, I'm getting buffs all over the place. I've come somewhere where I know there's little cod, I know they're hungry and I've brought along a smaller lure than most of my other cod, cod lures with the hope that I've got more chance of getting a fish. It might not be as big of a fish but I've got more chance of getting a fish. This is my little friend I got in the mail yesterday from America. That is a Whopper Plopper. It's a bit smaller than the lures I usually use for cod. Let's see if this can entice them. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do, last time I was here catching them on worms, I was at that spot over there, and I was casting my worms over into this corner right in front of me. And I've got a couple of cod on worms there. So the first thing I'm going to do is head out onto the edge of this tree and cast over there. Because around this time of night I started hooking them as well, I reckon. Alright, no luck there. I'll have a shot right up at the spillway now. A few carp scales and that lying around. It's good. People have been getting them out. That was the book. Whopper Plopper gets its first ball. I apologise for any wind noise guys, it's pretty bad. But it's brought with it the cool change that we needed because it would have been a bloody scorcher here today. It was about 46 degrees Celsius, which I think translates to about 115 Fahrenheit. That was a buff. Second buff for the Whopper Plopper. Oh. I hope the camera got that. I actually felt weight on that buff. That was the first time. Usually they just hit it and I see it and I hear it. Oh. <laughs> I had weight. I had weight. Third buff on the Whopper Plopper in about 15 minutes. Never been closer. And yet I feel like I'm still so far away from getting my first cod off the surface. I'll tell you what, so far I bloody love this Whopper Plopper. I'm going to be ordering another one. This is a 75, Whopper Plopper 75. I believe they also come in the 90 and the 110. And I think that refers to their length in millimeters, if I'm not mistaken. All right, I'm gonna head up the other end. I've had some books up here, but they've dried up now. I'll go try up at the log. Something's sitting just there. Oh, there's all kinds of fish sitting right near the edge here. <laughs> and one more cast from this spot, right over there. And then I'm going to go back up near the spillway because at least I was getting buffs up there and my lures fouled up, so there's no point. Put one fish off the top and I'll be happy. One fish. I don't care what it is, I don't care what size it is, just let me get one, please. Oh. Yes! My first fish off the top. Oh. It's only little and I do not care. <laughs> it's tiny, absolutely tiny, tiny little cut off the top, I'm wrapped, just wet my hand here so I can grab him underneath, alright calm down, 
I'll have to get the lip grips because they're slippery suckers. But there you go, my first cod off the top. Can't believe it. Just letting him chill down there in the water. Getting my lip grips out and my pliers. Whopper plopper. Scores me my first ever Murray cod off the surface. Hold still. There we go. I'll get the pliers. Get the hooks out. And I wet my other hand. I'm not even gonna bother with a measurement guys, he'd be all of about 25 centimetres. But that is my first Murray cod off the surface. And he's tiny and I don't even care. You bloody ripper, I'm going to remember you for the rest of my life. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to let him go. Just here, it's only little, this is plenty deep enough. Calm down. Alright mate, ready? There you go. You're just going to sit there and chill, are you? So, oh, there he is. And there he goes. He's still just sitting there, I think. No, he's gone. <laughs> yes! I finally got a cut off the top! Woohoo! So I don't know how well that'll show up with the light. I forgot to get out my little uh, torch for that one. But my first ever cut off the top was caught on the Whopper Plopper 75, imported from America. What it does is it just pulls through the water on the surface and the tail spins around just like a propeller right there. And uh, I'll bring up a photo of the lure and the packaging. Just so if anyone of my Australian watchers want to see what that looks like, they can. I've never seen them for sale in Australia. That's not to say they're not here. I've just never seen one here. And this one was sent to me by an American. More details on that in an episode coming next week. It's starting to get pretty dark because it's uh, quite overcast. But uh, there's no sign of the bats tonight. Might be a... Whoa, that was a touch. Well, it's getting dark pretty quick tonight because it is quite overcast. There's no sign of the bats tonight. It might be a bit too hot for them. So it's uh, only going to get down to 27 degrees overnight tonight. And it doesn't hit that until about 7 a.m. So it is quite a warm one. But I don't think the heat's going to bother me tonight, guys, because I just got my first cot off the top. <laughs> looking for snakes while I'm walking back to the car guys because they come out at night when it's really overly hot during the day and it looks like I'm in the clear no further action on the kite I'm stoked though my first one off the top yes <laughs> if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up comment down below and uh, subscribe if you'd like to see more that was one of many more cod I plan to get off the top of the water, guys. That's just wet my appetite, that has. See you in the next one.